Toughest thing you ever been through? Honestly, man, I don't know who I ask. Like my name, so my name, my full name is Elisha. And in the Jamaican tongue, it means, you know, protected by God. And I feel like I have lived up to that. I remember this one time I was in a house with my uncle when he got locked up. They kicked the, the feds kicked the door in, and I remember feeling so uncomfortable in his house. There was people running in and out. I remember tapping, you know, my ex at the time, like, yo, I'm ready to get on the road, I'm ready to go, and it's being slow. And don't you know the feds kicked the door in? And when I realized it was the police, I remember feeling so relieved because in my head, I'm like, the Juke Boy's about to come in here. The way they was moving, reckless. So I remember feeling scared because I ain't never had nobody, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Actually, I've been through that twice. But we never talked about the first time. But the feds kicked in the door. And I actually did not get arrested being in the house. And you know, and this is right when I first started to wear hijab again. I just started putting it on again. And I, I feel like the hijab saved me. And the police didn't want to do paperwork to put my, to, for the state to have to take my uncle's son. Because his mom is in New York. We are on our way down to North Carolina. Who's coming from New York to Virginia at that moment? So they left him with me. So that way they, um, didn't have to do the paperwork. The police said straight up and down they didn't want to do the paperwork. Shout out to the real.